Is anybody blazing tonight? Is anybody blazing tonight? Alright, where are we dropping? Yeah, dude. I'm down for pleasant. Let's go. Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bring up this video. I have not watched this video. You guessed it, ladies and gentlemen. We are <laughs> we're doing some motherfucking uh, some puppy play. I figure now that I have Ollie, I can start to get into different things. <laughs> Imagine if the easiest way to delight your wife is you just throw a ball across the room. Relationships wouldn't fail anymore if that's all you had to do. Here's Tony. Oh, that is such a dangerous mentality. <laughs> also, what is this fucking thumbnail, bro? <laughs> Yo, man, Comic-Con is wild now. So before I jumped on stream, I was thinking about this video and, and you know, usually these videos, it's all about someone, you know, they want to, they do this for like sexual or some other purpose, right? It, it's always like a, it's like an obedience thing. I want to see someone do this puppy play thing, but I want to see them do it to be disobedient and a bad dog. I would love it if just in the middle of this, she just walked into their living room and took a dump right there. C Cindy, Cindy, knock, knock it off, knock it off. And she's just looking back at him like, <sighs> like he comes home from work one day and the couch is just, it's just cut up. It's just destroyed. And she's standing there without the mask and she's just like drinking a cup of water. And she's like, man, butters really had a time with the couch. Did you uh, mow the lawn earlier today? <laughs> Ah. Yeah, it would be in LA. <laughs> People come to my house and they see my ribbons and they say, oh, you've won all these ribbons at dog shows, but they rarely ask if I'm the dog. I've won quite a few. That's pretty tough to just have that in your fucking living room and you're just like, oh yeah, these are mine. Yeah, I won that one back in uh, uh, 03. <laughs> you know, I was up against a Shih Tzu. A real one. And I still won. Crazy, right? This is the High Point Award for Puppy Palooza. And then these two are the best. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Events, presentation, obedience, scent trials. They just smelling stuff. Agility. <laughs> I just know they're unathletic as fuck. Or maybe they are. Maybe it's just CrossFit with dog masks. I don't know. Best handler? Oh yeah, that you know that one's bad. You know that one's bad. Dude just walks out. Brings a, a gigantic wooden... I'm here for the best handler. are my two best in shows. I got these at DomCon. DomCon, yeah. Yep. That's a Fast and Furious convention. That's actually just for fans of Dominic Toretto. I've been involved in pet play for my entire life. Uh, a lot of kids like to play pretend. They like to pretend to be an animal and they enjoy doing it. Yes, because they're five, not 35. I got into pet play through Tony once we started dating. Uh, handler is a common role for... <laughs> <laughs> got him. Got him. <laughs> I own his ass. I got him. I just want to know what is going on in this house that this couch is so fried. This looks like a bruised hot dog. What are they doing in this house, bro? A handler is a common role for human pups, and I was glad to do it. Yo, this fool looks like animatronic. His eyes do not blink, homie. Look at this shit. His eyes move and then his head moves. They say when the student is ready, the master appears. That man is AI. Did you see that head turn? Are you comfortable being uh, fully out? I don't care. He was uh, his female at the time. I remember that he showed up with a little like dog nose painted on. Yeah. What? I don't want to be rude, man. He's trans. Got it. 
Okay, I thought the puppy persona was male and now it's female. We got it. We got it. There's different aspects of pet play that relate to BDSM or kink or leather. Uh, it involves gear that is restrictive or restraining. For example, leashes, harnesses, um, mitts on your hands. This just looks like LARPing gear, man. This just looks like some high-level LARPing gear. This is called a show tail. What I've done is I've put it through a dildo harness and then I just wear the dildo harness backwards. I love how casual that is. Oh yeah, I just, just took a dildo harness and took it off and then uh, put my little tail through it. <laughs> the power of science, am I right? And that gives the tail better balance. And as you can see, that's rubber silicone tail. Yeah, I don't like the texture of that. I don't like how that moves. And then the most important part of all of this gear is actually this guy, the ball. That's it. No, 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 no. It's not just, and that's it. Uh, this is my tail, this is my chest, this is my face. And that's it. Just feels a little bit more than it. You know what I'm saying, Chief? My responsibility is similar to the responsibility with a regular dog. The first I ex don't dog. Mm, I'm I a regular dog. I'm just different. Oh, oh. Two things. One, it's just dog, okay? There's dog, and then there's um, non bio dog, which is you. See, feel what I'm saying? It's just dog. You know, if you want to make a big stink, that's. You're an adult human, you can do what you want. <laughs> Although you'll be talking to the police if that is necessary. <laughs> what? Okay, that, this feels like mild regret, because he's like, well, one, if you just want to bark and pee everywhere, that's your prerogative. You can do that as an adult human, and uh, you know, unless you want to deal with the police, again. So I hang out and I provide him with lots of attention and tell him he's a good boy. I am. That's basically 90% of it. I am a good boy. <laughs> I don't like how they're using this uh, home, home Alone 2 music. The purpose of the LA Pony and Critter Club. This man could, this man could fight. This dog could fight. You see this? That shit is fire right there. What's a critter, man? What falls under critter? Hold up. Could I just pull up in there looking like a giant mosquito? <laughs> oh, I just thought of something terrible. <laughs> Could I pull up in there like a mosquito and could I just have like a syringe with some disease and be like, yeah, I'm a mosquito. This is part of who I am. Gotcha. Gotcha. The purpose of the LA Pony and Critter Club is to provide a safe space for people to explore and experience animal role play. Well, I want I want to be a what's a what's a dope ass animal? I want to be a hippopotamus, dude, and I just want to chomp other animals in half, bruh. This is a slippery slope, man. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna just pull up as as the dragon from the Game of Thrones with the fucking World War One flamethrower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here are my wings. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up a Sonic the Hedgehog and roll into the puss. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna pull up to this as animal control. All you freeze, none of these dogs have IDs. Everybody on the ground now. Everyone on the ground now. They're running a breeding farm back here. It's illegal. Bag them and tag them. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who called the horse tranquilizer guy? <laughs> oh. The event today that was held by the LA Pony and Critter Club is a play date. They're informal. They can be everything from three people to 25 people. Somebody said Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Oh my God. I know we clown these, these people, but I have, to, I have to give this guy props. This is actually the most convincing one I've seen. I like the performance art. I like the detail. I like creating 
For me, the reason that I like to be a dog is dog is man's best friend. Dogs experience the world through a lens of pure joy that I don't think other animals have. That's just something about doing this in broad daylight that makes it real, I don't know, tough. I feel like it'd be hard to get into this at three in the afternoon. <laughs> Whatever I got here. Whatever I got here. Oh, give me that. Listen, if Ollie ever just mid bark started speaking English, ah boy, I I might be liable to to square up with him. Just, it'd be weird. I would freak out. What would Ollie's voice sound like? Yeah, Ollie uh, Ollie'd be a cholo. Hey dog, give me that shit, fool. Pet play is first of all great exercise. It's a lot of fun. CrossFit has nothing on pet play. Bro, what? Come on, bro. Drop it. Uh, Drop it. Uh, Drop it. You saw the evil come out in that dude? Drop it. Drop it. Within the larger club, we do fox hunts. We have dog shows. This just looks like somebody eating shit. <laughs> and based on this movement right here, this looks like somebody eating shit. And look at my guy right here. Look at my guy right here. I do compartmentalize my pet play because not everyone wants or needs to see that. My guy, you just went on a fucking TV show. You went on a network show. I mean, props, okay? He wants to be the voice, right? He wants to provide the education, sure. But do you have to show the act? All right. I think people misunderstand pet play because they see a collection of ideas that aren't normally next to each other, namely animals, sex, adults pretending, and they're immediate, they immediately get an alarm sense that something's wrong. We're gonna end it right there. That one, that one was... If you like it, do you, brother. But I think we should be able to call it strange. I think we should be able to call it strange. <laughs>